everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today is January 30th and today is my birthday. Well, I am now 18 years old, which is crazy. In honor of turning 18, I thought that I would do kind of like a reflection throughout the past 18 years of my life. So today I'm doing 18 things that I've learned in 18 years. So let's get started. Know what you like and know what you do not like. Take that any and all ways that you want. Do it. What I mean by this is take any opportunities that life gives you. Like if there's a leadership opportunity in a club that you're in, then take that. If there's a job that you want, like apply for that job, try something new. This has been especially prominent in my life because I literally woke up one day two years ago and like it was on the day of tryouts and decided to try out for tennis. And over those past two years, I've grown so much. My whole life has changed just because of that one decision. Like now I'm going to school to play tennis. If I never tried to play tennis, then I probably wouldn't be going to the school that I'm going to right now. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to play tennis for them and just everything like that. So try something new. I've been playing volleyball for so long and I always thought, you know, like maybe I play volleyball in college. I never thought, I never in a million years thought that tennis would be the sport that I choose. Something that I'm just so passionate about and it's just crazy how like one little decision can make a huge difference. Also my decision to start YouTube a few years ago, that has definitely changed my life too. I love making videos and it's what I am going to college for, like digital media, filmmaking, production, all that kind of stuff. So you never know what you will like and what you will end up doing until you make that initial decision to do it. Follow your instincts. This is a big one. If something feels wrong, then it probably is. There are times that I have not taken my instincts seriously and it just did not end up well. The next one is probably my favorite out of all of these and that is to keep yourself busy. I think that this is so, so important. School, sports, jobs, volunteering, like social events. Sign up for something, get involved, do this, do that, try a new sport. Like, like I said before, you never know what it's going to amount to, what it's gonna to come to. Challenge yourself. For example, for school, I right now take all AP classes. I'm in four right now and they're pretty hard, but it's not to the point where it's impossible. This is kind of hard to do because you want to challenge yourself, but you also don't want to push yourself too hard to where you're just overwhelmed, exhausted, like that's never good. So know how much you can handle and go from there. Invest in a nice planner and write to-do lists and just write down everything you have to do and then once you do them, check it off one by one because for someone like me, I'm very busy and I have a lot to do. So I always write down everything as soon as I know that I have to do them. So I will just take out my phone, write it down on my list, and then when I get home or when I get to a place that I have my planner, I can write down everything in there and just see like what I have to do, what I've completed, and that just kind of like motivates me to get more stuff done as well. Cars cost a lot of money. Start saving. <laughs> Communication is essential. Interacting with people and making those connections can honestly give you so many new opportunities like a new job or a promotion. Sometimes it's the people that you know that can get you further than just like, you know, filling out an application or something like that. Be nice to everyone unless they give you a really good reason not to be, then, you know, go off. Be open to making new friends. Honestly, I love making new friends. I love meeting new people. I just think it's so interesting how like every single person on this world has so much like that has happened to them in their life and so many cool things that they've done so many thi like so many happy things so many sad things like just so many experiences every single person has all of those things combined into them so that's why i really like making new friends and just sharing stories with each other and memories and just hanging out with each other and it's just great say yes but also learn how to say no this is really important too take new opportunities but don't take too many responsibilities because that just will overwhelm you it will tire you out very fast and that's just not good. Go out and have fun with friends but also learn how to be completely content just spending time with yourself because that is very important. Keep your room clean and organized. This includes your closet. I used to have so many clothes in my closet that I just didn't wear anymore that don't even fit me anymore and once I cleaned it out I just felt like so much lighter like all of this weight was just lifted off of my shoulders and also for the clothes if you have a Play-Doh's closet near you, bring the clothes there first because they will most likely give you at least like a few dollars for your clothing. Like I went there one time with a few bags full of stuff and they go through it all and 
uh, pay you for some of the items so you can get some money back and then after that donate the rest to like Goodwill or something. Look on the bright side of life. So this is something that I'm still working on. For example, Today is my birthday, like I mentioned before, and I had school and work. When I first say it, it doesn't really seem like good, like it seems like, oh, I have to go to school, I have to go to work. Instead of complaining, I'm kind of trying to take it a different way. So like school, like I'm glad that I have this opportunity to get an education because not everyone has the opportunity. And for my job, the same thing, I'm grateful that I have this job and that I am like able to coach. So if you guys didn't know, I'm coaching, so I'm able to coach and just enjoy that position and it's very fun working with them too so that helps as well. <laughs> Say thank you for anything and everything that someone does for you. Whether they get you fries from McDonald's or a really nice pair of boots, like Say thank you because it's important to let them know how much you appreciate them and what they did for you because they did not have to do that at all. <laughs> for all of my students out there, this is a big one. Make sure your teachers slash professors slash anyone else like you. This is very important. My grades got a whole lot better when I established good relationships with my teachers. Travel. Travel, travel, travel as much as you can. There's so many places on earth and I just think it's cool just to like add new spots to your memories. Whether it be like a planned vacation or if you're just driving up for the day to go to like I don't know, like a park near you, or just this really cool area that you've never been to before, I don't know, whatever it is, it's just very cool to see the world in like different places and experience different cultures and all that kind of stuff. If you ever, ever get the chance to go parasailing, scuba diving, zip lining, anything like that, do it. Trust me guys, those things are all so much fun, I have done them before and they are just, they're incredible. Like. They're so much fun. So yeah, if you have the chance to, then definitely do it. If you're thinking about doing it, definitely do it because they're just so much fun. So that is it for my 18 things I've learned at 18 video. I really hope you guys liked it and these are just a few things that I've learned. Obviously I've learned a lot more than this, but these are kind of like some of the bigger things that I just wanted to tell you guys. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!